You can see why they call them glass minnows. Pretty much see-through. Nice little finger mold right there. Really, really good bait fish. It just sits right here in the current, so constantly getting flow. The fish in his mouth right now. Oh, the bait came out! Bro, what's going on? School is a bait. Oh, oh, mole it right there. Mole it right there. Big ones and little ones. See them? You got like little finger mole and then a big old horse mole. One of the best bait fish you could possibly get. We're gonna try to get them here. They are quick, but I think we're quicker. See them on top, bro? Oh, I missed them. There they are. There they are. We may have another shot. I got one, I got one. I got one. All right, we may have another shot on that school. But we got one right here. Nice little finger mullet right there. Really, really good bait fish. Get him in the bucket. This guy's gonna be a jumper. Yep, yep. Should have brought our top, but what our plan is, is we're gonna get everything in this bucket as much as we can. Once the bucket's full, We'll then bring them back to the cooler and start filling that up. So, won't be able to jump out of that, but for the meantime, we'll be in here. Where did he go? Right there, see them? See them? Here you go. Heads up. Oh, money, money. Anything? Nothing. How? That's, that's impressive. Seriously. Yeah, so good. I know, the first one was like barely on them and we got them. They're still right there. Okay. We got another shot. Let me get a little closer. Bro, had to have got them. Do you see them in the net? Okay. I, oh yeah, there's one right there. Look at that. Two of them. Let's go. Another two more. That's what I'm talking about. And like, we're gonna be getting a bunch of different species of bait fish, but I will say, this is definitely the top. Oh my! Look at his side. He got messed up. Well, we probably don't want to take that one home just because that's an open wound. Definitely can be some parasites, more likely chance of that. So we're gonna release this one, let him heal up. Another chance at life. Here he goes. Look. He's in a pond. He's in a little pond. <laughs> there he goes. Let's see, there's a lot of stingrays, sea turtles, just a bunch of crazy stuff I've seen at this dock. Horseshoe crabs. Dude, dude, look how many there are. Those are not sticks. All needlefish. <laughs> dude, look how far that was. I probably didn't get him, but that was a far throw. Oh, I got a needlefish. Look at this thing, guys. These things are insane looking. They literally look like a little needle. Not a bait fish, but um, really cool looking fish. Definitely unique. See that big old needle? It's like a saltwater alligator gar. Yeah, exactly. It looks like a little saltwater gar, but we're gonna release him because he's not a bait fish. There he goes. Look, look at the little baby one right there. Oh, yeah. There's actually two of them. We could possibly get those for the mini pond. If you guys want to see some baby needlefish in the mini pond, they're such a cool fish that would go along great with our puffers. Like this video, get it to 20,000 likes and we'll come back and net some. Oh, we got a lot of them. Let's get them up here. Well, as you can see, they're pretty easy to catch. So like I said, if you guys want to see them, I will come back here and catch some. This is like a perfect size for the mini pond. So cool, we can probably grab a couple of them. They're everywhere throughout Jupiter. But um, little needlefish. See you guys, look at them. They're literally just like a needle. Yeah, what are those? That's what the needlefish are eating. 
sick. Jeez. Lots of little snapper. We're really looking for like sand perch, grinds, pinfish, mullet. Those are all big, big bait fish here in Jupiter and the fish love them the most. So that's what we're after. Not seeing anything, dude. Man need to hit another spot. We got a lot of spots to hit. So let's head to another one, see if there's any luck there. This spot is so sick. Look at the current we got going right now. So look at all that current. Epic, there's gotta be some bait here. Oh, bro. Dude, so many Is that baits. bait? Yeah. Wait, will those fit in the net? We're gonna try. There's so much bait, it's insane. We can literally probably have a month worth of bait. Oh, look at that puffer. There's so much life going on in this little creek. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, we got him. Bro, those are all glass minnows. See if we can get as many to get in this bucket alive. Now they're really, really sensitive baits, but for the most part, we're gonna freeze as many as we can. We got some pilchards too. And, but yeah, we're just gonna freeze as many as we can and use them as frozen baits. You can see why they call them glass minnows. They're pretty much see-through. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Oh. We just hit the mother load, boys. All pilchards. Oh, look at that, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, you don't understand how lucky we just got. Oh. Bro, this is sick. Here go the pilchards and glass minnows. Boom. Woo! That was, uh, that was a good throw right there. But if you guys aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below, completely free, and you'll never miss out on any videos we post. Back at the house, check out our baits. Oh, wow. Actually, a lot of them are alive. Net them all up, get them in this bucket here, and then they're going in the bait pan. So we ended up getting Pilchards, mullet, and glass minnows for the most part. We didn't end up getting any sand perch or really anything else, but um, right here, honestly, these are like the three top bait fish you can get. Look at that. Got our bucket of baits right here. We did pretty well. We got a lot of pilchards, two nice finger mullet, and then on top of that, a bunch of frozen baits. So we got our little mini bait pen right here. This thing's perfect for what we're gonna be doing. This is the quarantine pond. So we're actually gonna quarantine the baits for about a week or two, make sure they're all free of parasites before we just dump them into the saltwater pond. So we got them acclimating right now. We'll give them about 20, 30 minutes. But while they're acclimating, we're gonna freshwater dip one of them. Let's go with it. One pilchard and one mullet. So in here, this is fresh water and it's pretty much going to kind of stun them, but it's also going to stun any parasites living on them. So this is definitely necessary. We'll do this for about five more seconds. And um, here we go. Pilchard first. Oh, what the? The Sergeant Majors are going after him. Did he not get eaten? What? Look at the line. He wants him. Oh no, Emperor Snapper sees him, bro. He's going for it. All right, I'm throwing the mullet in. Did you see the bait? Here it goes. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Bro, bro, he's still, dude, did he eat that thing? Oh, it's right here. It's over there. Oh, 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 right here. Watch it. Oh. 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 Bro, 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 this is crazy. Look at him chasing down this bait, bro.
Is it trigger getting it? No way. No way. I just got it, and it's gone. Bro, this is crazy. Like, uh, my adrenaline is rushing, guys, so I'm sorry, but it's just crazy seeing these guys. Like, these are our big boys, finally. Put it, yep, look at that, he's got it in his mouth. And this is just some, like, naturally hunting. Blue and yellow cod has the fish in his mouth right now. What's going on? Oh my gosh. All right, well, that was crazy, but our baits are definitely ready to go. So we're gonna get them in this bait pen. And this way, whenever we wanna do a live feeding, we're able to, and that way, they don't have parasites. And this right here is a little 10 gallon bait pen. A little portable one, nothing too fancy, but it will get the job done. Couple more. This is gonna be so sick. And they're honestly gonna live pretty well since we got that flow right there. You can actually see them all swimming around. And that right there is the last bait in our bait pen. Look at that. It's pretty sick, huh? Yeah. It just sits right here in the current, so constantly getting flow. We can easily come over here and net them and not have to go through the big old quarantine pond. And they're getting quarantine at the same time. So overall, works out. Hook that up right there. And boom, we got a whole bunch of bait in our saltwater bait pen. Overall, absolutely crazy video. Went out there, caught our own bait, then came back, put a mullet in the saltwater pond, and the fish just put on a complete show for you guys. So with that being said, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below your favorite thing that happened throughout the video, whether it was casting the bait, feeding the fish. Let me know in the comments and we'll do more of it. But we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!